What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Restorations with Vic, brought to you by Vic. Today, we're gonna be customizing these Air Jordan 3s into a Cactus Jack 4 colorway. Basically, what I'm gonna do is recreate that colorway and design onto this shoe. The colors are a light blue, red, black, white, and I think that's it. So pretty much, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be implementing those colors onto the shoe. Nothing of this shoe is gonna stay white for the most part. Speaking about how white the shoe is, this shoe is pretty white, look at it. To 2006, honestly, I'm kind of amazed because it's been a while since I've seen a pair of 2006 Pure Money 3s in this condition. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Back to what I'm gonna be doing. Pretty much, this whole shoe is gonna get repainted. The sole is gonna be black. The metal is gonna be a two-tone, blue and white. The uppers are mainly gonna be blue. Even the pound leather is gonna be uh, repainted. So we'll show you some cool techniques on how to repaint pound leather. And also I'm gonna be doing some another cool technique on the back tab. Um, I actually never done this before. Pretty much what I'm gonna do is remove the back tab, shave off the jump man and the air, have Daniel recreate a Cactus Jack logo that goes on the back of the tab. If you guys are familiar with the Cactus Jack 4s, um, on the back tab, it has Cactus Jack right across the back tab. I keep on saying back tab, I think, a lot. Anyway, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cut this back tab out, shave off the jump man, shave off the air, lay down a stencil. I don't know how clean that's gonna be, but if we're gonna do a Cactus Jack 4 colorway on a pair of threes, it has to be right. So hopefully the shoe turns out good. It's a lot of work, lengthy process, a lot of paint. So let's get to it. First step we're gonna do is remove the shoelaces, remove the inserting, remove the insole, and insert our adjustable rejuvenator extra large shoe tree to size. All right, so to get started with this custom, we're gonna do the hardest thing first, which is the tabs. Pretty much what we're gonna do is go in, using an X-Acto knife, cut out the stitching all over the elephant print so we can pull the tab out. But first, we gotta apply some bar cement all around the stitching so when we cut out the tap it doesn't remove the stitching um, it's pretty easy what we're going to do is tape around it first lay down a thin layer use the exacto knife exacto knife and just cut it out all right next step using an exacto knife very carefully we're going to go in Cut the stitching on the tab and the elephant print. That way we can pull the, top, the tab off nice and carefully. Um, we're gonna wanna be very gentle and careful because this X-Acto knife can cut the leather and potentially uh, damage the tab. So patience is key. Tab came out perfectly. Next step we're gonna do is use an exacto knife that we just used to chop off the tab off the shoe um we're gonna what we're gonna do next which i already kind of did is slice off the letters um i already sliced off the eye on the tab as you can see in the this piece right here that's the first step in removing the jump man and the air Alright, we got the majority of the jump man and air off. So far, so good. Next step we're gonna do, using my Dremel and this 276 drill bits that I bought at Harbor Freight. Pretty much what we're gonna do is sand off the rest of the jump man and air super carefully. Um, if we press too hard or not be very gentle, we can create dashes or dents in the, t in, in the tab. And we don't want that. We wanna get this tab as smooth as possible. So. Take your time, be patient. Um, that's the best advice I could give you. All 
All right guys, so to save us some time, I went ahead and did the tab off camera. Luckily, I did have a black replacement tab, um, so we didn't have to use the white one. It came out really, really good. It did, however, take me three and a half hours worth of work. Took forever, but came out nearly perfect. As you can see, there's no dents, scratches anywhere on the tab. Um, that's just from three and a half hours worth of work. So pretty much what I did using the Dremel, got rid of the entire drum end and air. Afterwards, using the 320 grit sandpaper, smoothed out the whole thing, and that's how I achieved these great results. So for now, we're gonna come back to the tabs later. Next thing we're gonna do is remove the drum end off the tongues. We are gonna be gluing back the, uh, the drum end back on the tongue, but that's later after we repaint the tongue. We're gonna be using a heat gun and very gently just peel it off. All right, that drum end peeled off super easy. Now onto some prep work. We're gonna be taping off portions of the midsole on this side and this side so we can start acetoning the pound leather and leather. All right, the little taping's done. Now, obviously using some acetone and cotton balls, we're gonna go over the entire leather, remove the factory finish, that way the paint can stick um, once we actually lay down the paint. All right, we got the uppers acetoned up. Next step we're gonna do is using some 1500 grit sandpaper. We're gently gonna go over the entire pound leather for a solid 20 minutes until all the shine's gone so the pound leather's left dull so it can be ready for paint. All right guys, got the pound leather sanded down. Looks good, got the shininess out. Looks nice and flat. Overall, it's ready for paint, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. Now we're gonna jump to the midsoles. Since these midsoles and shoe are brand new, we're not gonna be wiping off the entire paint, but what we are gonna do is wipe off the factory finish using rubbing alcohol and cotton balls. All right, that's ready to go. Next up we're gonna do is a big one, a bunch of taping. I'm sure you guys don't wanna see that, so we're just gonna skip ahead. See you soon, future Vic. Thanks, past Vic. Shoes are finally fully taped up, taped up the soles and sock liner. Now, let's lay down some paint. For this color, I mixed Jacquard's Gamma Blue and a little bit of opaque blue. Um, it was super easy mix. I think it's spot on to the, to the Cactus Jack 4s. So now let's spray it using our, our airbrush. Blue is laid down, the color looks spot on in my opinion. The next step we're gonna move on to is taping around the pan leather so we can lay down the crystal clear finisher. Pretty much what we're gonna do is lay down the finisher to recreate the gloss effect on the pan leather. All right, so we're back to the tabs. We're gonna let the shoes dry for a little while. So for these tabs, as you can see, they're pretty faded. So we're gonna give it a couple of coats using Jacquard's black paint. We're not gonna do any prep work since I already did a good job sanding it. All right guys, panel that looks good. It's finally dried. It looks perfect, nice and shiny, just like how it's supposed to look. Now moving on to the next step, we're gonna remove the tape so we can dye the sock liner, but first we gotta re-tape, or actually tape for the first time, the uppers. All right guys, shoes are finally fully taped up and napped up. Now let's spray some red using Jacquard's opaque red through the airbrush. All right, red's laid down, looks very rich, vibrant. Now onto the tongues. Um, we're not gonna be removing all the tape, we're just gonna remove the tape off the tongue so we can tape around the blue and lay down the black through the airbrush. All right, we're taped up once again. Now we're gonna move on to spraying the tongues. We're gonna be using Jacquard's opaque black through the airbrush.
All right, stock liner looks good. Let's keep it moving. Next step we're gonna do is move on to the plastic tabs all around the shoe on both sides. Pretty much what we're gonna do is start off by taping around these plastic pieces on both sides so we can airbrush it black. All right, next step we're gonna do, using some black paint and a paintbrush this time, we're gonna paint these two pieces on both sides and all these little circles by hand. All right guys, we're gonna jump back to the tabs. So what we're gonna do next, using black thread and a needle, we're gonna create some simulated stitching all around the tab. The pattern's really easy. You start from the back, poke your hole, go up, go back down, and it's just a pattern. It's really easy. We'll show you some shots of how, how to do it. All right, so for this little back piece, we're gonna wanna apply a little piece of tape onto the back tab so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, got the needle through. Now let's poke it back in place to the following hole. All right, got our first stitching. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that little thing right there, that's it. A little embryo, <laughs> a little stitching fetus. <laughs> All right guys, we're on to the next step, which is laying down the splatter effect. As you can see, we got the shoe taped up over here. We're only gonna be laying down the splatter effect on these plastic pieces and this back tab. Also, I have the stitching taped up because we don't want to get any paint on the black stitching. So what we're gonna do, using a toothbrush method, we're gonna dip it into our blue paint and just splash some splatter effect using my finger onto the areas. All right, tabs are fully done. Shoes coming together, looks good. Let's keep it moving. Next thing we're gonna do is jump back to the tabs. What we're gonna do is lay down a thin layer of bar cement on this side of the tab and on the shoe. Waste out a minute and clamp it together. But first, we gotta tape around the elephant print and the upper so we don't get glue in those areas. All right, on the first try. All right, seven minutes are up. Time to clamp. All right, tabs are good to go. They lined up perfectly. Looks good. All that's missing though is a cactus jack stencil. It's on its way. We're gonna do that at the very end. Um, so let's keep it moving, guys. As you can see, I kind of got ahead of myself and laid down the jump mat on the tongue. It's peeling off. I didn't fully put glue on the top portion of the jump mat. Um, but pretty much what I did was lay down super glue on the jump mat and just paste it on the shoe. Um, later on in the video, I could paste this piece on camera and show you guys exactly how I did it. So now we're gonna remove the tape and move on to the midsoles. All right, so the shoe looks pretty clean as is, but it's not quite a cactus jack. So what we're gonna do is tape up around this top portion of the midsole so we can spray it using the same blue we used on the uppers. It might be a little darker though since I add, did add a little bit more blue just so it doesn't blend in with the uppers. All right, shoes taped up, paint in the airbrush, let's spray the paint. Remove the tape. What'd you get? All right guys, mantles are complete. Tape's fully off. Looks good. As you can see though, on the uppers, all around the elephant print, there is gonna be some paint touch-ups needed, but I'm not worried about it now. We'll take care of that later. Moving on, we're gonna move on to the soles. Gotta tape up the uppers once again. And these pods, this one right here, and this up the bottom portion, um, we're gonna leave those white. So once it's fully taped up, we're gonna lay down the black using my airbrush. So now, I'm gonna show you guys a cool little trick. 
Shoes are taped up for the last time. Let's lay down the black. So future Vic runs to you and says, you're gonna die in three months if you take the turkey sandwich. What do you do? Not take the turkey sandwich. Yeah, that's a smart man, right? That's there a good There you go. I'm gonna see you in three months. You're gonna be eating a turkey sandwich. <laughs> Don't! You're gonna get faced. That's you gotta smack the... All right, so that's your job, dude. Three Next months. Three months from now, life. if I'm ever eating a turkey sandwich, no, if I eat that sandwich, I'll die three months after that, so. What if, plot twist, I'm the one that gives you a turkey sandwich in three months? I'll know, I'll know. <laughs> All right guys, soles are complete, they look good. Took off the tape, did some touch-ups all around the shoe. The shoe looks good to go, looks beautiful. The last step you gotta do to complete this custom though is lay down the Cactus Jack stencil on the back tab that my man Daniel provided for us. Um, so I really laid down the stencil on the back tab. Got some extra ones just in case I ruined this one. Luckily I didn't. So what we're gonna do next is tape around the stencil, lay down a white base coat, and then we'll lay down the red and move on to the last couple steps in this custom. Check out the Cactus Jack, came out perfect. This custom's pretty much done. Now let's move on to protecting this beautiful custom. Since the soles are painted, we have to apply Rejuvenator Soul Shields. Whenever you have a customized shoe and the soles are painted, you have to have to use Rejuvenator Soul Shields. Otherwise, after the first couple steps, the paint will fully, fully come right off. And you don't want that. You don't want to spend hours and hours worth of work for it just to completely come off. That's where Soul Shields come in. Let's apply them. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the basic steps on applying sole shields onto the shoe. But for a more in-depth video, make sure to check out Johnny Bubbles' video on the Blue Tin Yeezys when he applies some Rejuvenator sole shields perfectly. He's a man when it comes to sole shields. He's the king of sole shields. Shout out to Jonathan. So you're, like, you're the queen or like the prince or like the, like the jester? Uh, I might have said too much by saying king. Definitely a peasant. All right, first step we're gonna do is trace around the shoe. That way we can go in and cut it. Boom. Oh, well, I missed this part, but I can see the line still. No worries. Now, next step, grab some scissors and simply just cut it out. All right, these are cut. Now, next step, we're gonna peel. In my experience, I at least take 15 minutes to get this thing peeled off. Hopefully, we can get it in five seconds. Oh, got it in two seconds. Woo. All right, now you grab the shoe. I usually place it in my lap for better control of the shoe and laying down this thing. All right, so we got the sole shield on. Now we're gonna use a heat gun. Has to be a heat gun, no blow dryer. We're gonna turn it on and just go over it several times. Now using a rejuvenated towel, you're gonna wanna press on it and kind of roll like this. We got our initial layer using our heat gun and towel. We're gonna want to redo this process a few more times just so you can really mold the sole shield in the sole. The better you apply the sole shield, the longer it's gonna last. Keep that in mind. All right, sole shield's on there. Looks good, nice and tight. Last step we gotta do to give the sole shield some grip is apply some traction pads. It doesn't really matter where you apply these. You can cut these in different shapes. Um, what I'm gonna do is put this one right here because that's where I do the most, put the most pressure on the sole. And this piece is gonna go down here. All right, sole shields are applied. Before we can lace the shoe up, we still gotta protect the uppers using our rejuvenator water and stain repellent. This step is of course super important just because this whole shoe is pretty much painted Originally the shoe was white, so we gotta protect the sock liner, the entire uppers, the midsoles, everything. Let's go outside. Hey, uh, you're supposed to spray that outside, bro. Don't you, outside. See, I'm, don't you see I'm trying to contaminate your air, Johnny? Uh, dude, 
I don't like you, dude. I don't like you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to kill your lungs. Like that? Barely killed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Outro time. Aaron wrote me a little something. Let's see how it goes. Now you see, time to be done with these Jordans 3s. The custom detail I did not lack, that's why these are my Cactus Jacks. So all in all, let's give a hand to the release by Jordan Brand, a perfect custom, which Lee and I sought, collaboration, Travis Scott. So in conclusion, let's raise a cup, cause the only thing left to say, straight up, lame. All right, here's the real outro. That's gonna wrap it up guys on these Air Jordan Cactus Jack 3s. These were a ton of work. In the beginning of the video, I barely had a beard. Now, fully grown. It took several, several hours, but I am totally pleased on how these came out. The colors came out nearly perfect. It's a very vibrant shoe. I'm pretty sure my colors are off from the original thing, but it still looks nice on this custom. There was a ton of work that went into the shoe. Pretty much the entire shoe got painted besides the white midsole. A ton of work, guys. My favorite part, though, are the tabs, of course. That cactus jack and the speckles looks beautiful Did i say cactus jack i feel like i said something else cactus jack tab so like i said guys these were a ton of work so now i'll break down the exact steps i did to this custom um the first thing i did of course was prep um and tape those steps are annoying but they're a must when it comes to a custom once that boring stuff was out the way cut out the tab replace it with the black tab this part was the hardest part of the full custom i've never done it before and i know customizers on instagram sell blank back tabs i should have done that it would have saved me at least three hours of time um, but I like the challenge, so what I did, using uh, a Dremel, I shaved off the jump man and replaced it with the Cactus Jack stencil. Came out nice and clean. You can barely even tell the jump man and the air were on there. It's nice and smooth. Um, once that was done, I created some simulated stitching, glued it onto the tab, onto the shoe, sorry, and made it look like it was originally there. All right guys, so like I said, this shoe was a ton of work. We'll start off with the soles. I taped off the uppers, sprayed them black, taped off these two paws, left them white, um, Pretty simple, once that was done, I had to apply some rejuvenator sole shields onto these soles. If I didn't do that, the paint will wear off completely after the first few steps. On the uppers, I did a bunch of work as well. Redid the midsoles, added a darker blue than the uppers. Nice crisp job, perfect lines, perfect angles all around. On the uppers, I sprayed them entirely blue, elephant print, the leather, the pound leather. The pound leather is still pound leather, it still has that shine. I prepped it nicely using sandpaper, acetone, and then once the paint was on there, I used crystal clear to give it that brand new shine, to give it that pound leather appearance as well. Then I moved on to painting the plastic parts all around the uppers. That part was a little tricky just cause I had to be really precise on not getting any black paint on the blue. No issues with that. Um, Lay down some blue speckles. Since on the Air Jordan 4s, it has some speckle jobs on the wings. Um, the shoe obviously doesn't have any wings, so I had to improvise. So I laid down that splatter effect and the black on these plastic parts of the shoe. Um, left the chrome swoosh on there. I really like this look, it makes it pop. On the original Cactus Jack 4s, it has like a silver Jordan jump mat on the patch. Um, it's not as bright as this one, but I did. I definitely think it adds to the shoe, it looks nice. Um, that's pretty much all I did guys. A bunch of work, may not seem like much. Oh, and lastly, I dyed the sock liners. Originally, of course, they, looked, they were white. Did this piece red, did this black, sprayed them with Jacquard airbrush paint. It's still soft, luckily it kept its texture. And that's pretty much it guys. And of course, lastly, 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 I spray the shoe using Rejuvenator's water and stain repellent. This is also a must whenever you're customizing shoes. Um, if you're dyeing sock liners, you're painting uppers, that's a must to protect that beautiful custom. So that's gonna wrap it up guys. If you wanna find our Rejuvenator products, head over to rejuvenator.com. Use my promo code in the description below to save some dollars. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because that definitely helps our channel grow and provide better content for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next Monday.